Here we have the HDMI to USB 2.0 video capture dongle. A little bit like an oversized USB flash drive. Specifications on the back say that it can take 4K footage up to 12 bit and its output resolution is 1080p. Upon opening the packaging, you'll find the device is surrounded by metal, very sturdy, should uh, be around for quite some time. So here's test footage. Um, originally, when I tested this out, um, I compared the compressed GH5 footage to the HDMI dongle. And when you compress 4K footage down, it gets very sharp and very clean, which was completely not a good way of, of, of trying to you know test to see how good this footage actually was. And when I pulled the Atomos, which is a 1080 device, the footage almost matches in clarity. I'm not talking about in color. So over here is the GH5 footage. Over here is the Ninja Blade. Um, so with devices like the Ninja Blade, they actually do an amazing job of recording. They actually get rid of some of the compression from the camera and actually, actually capture slightly better. The Over here, I have a USB extension on the HDMI dongle, which is probably a good thing because it does weigh a little bit when you have an HDMI plugged into it. But comparing the two is like, I mean, there's a slight bit of grain, um, I'm guessing you call it our, uh, compression artifacts, in this dongle. Um, as you can see here, you can see a little bit of fuzz going on and not as much sharpness as you see over here on the Atomos footage. But, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just incredible how this, this bargain device gives you such good imagery. I mean, and over here is comparison between the Atomos and the GH5 footage. You can actually still see a cleaner image over on the Atomos compared to the GH5. So it, it's just, you know, depending on your, your system. So I've color corrected over here. And in the next shot, all I do is add 30 points of feather to the crop between the two images. And it almost cleans it up completely. Um, maybe a little sharpness would have helped some more, but I'm very impressed with this. I want to apologize about the next footage. This is actually my messy studio, but this is from my original review that I was going to post. I added it because it shows color, it shows movement, it shows, you know, just, you know, what this thing can do without choking. Um, it's just actually quite impressive for such a little device. If you have a small studio and you do multicam, you can't find a cheaper way of adding multiple cameras to your setup. Um, let's see, you got a DSLR, you don't have a webcam, but you do a zoom call. Boom, you got yourself um, a way of doing a zoom call. This can be used as a webcam also. Actually, it comes up on a Mac as a USB camera. So, for, you know, a couple Starbucks, you got yourself a way of ingesting in very good quality. I wouldn't say it's the best, but very good quality. And can't beat the price. Thank you so much for watching my review. God bless.